Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom thumbnail on YouTube. Before we begin, click thumbs up, subscribe our channel and hit the bell. So, let's start. First of all, we need to go to canva.com. Of course, you'll find a link to Canva in the description of this video, so all you have to do is click on it and you will be taken to this website. Once you are here, if you don't have an account over here yet, you can create free account by either signing up with Google, signing up with Facebook or signing up with your email account. After you sign up, we can click on login and then we can either log in with uh, Google, Facebook or with our email and password. I'm gonna log in with uh, Google. Once you log into your account, you will see something like this. And in order to create your YouTube thumbnail, we would click over here on create design. And then in the search box, we will write YouTube. After we write YouTube, we've got three options, channel art. And the third option is YouTube thumbnail. So we are going to create our custom YouTube thumbnail. So we click on this option. And right now a new tab will be opened with editor where we will be able to create our own YouTube thumbnail. Over here we've got different YouTube thumbnails divided by categories. For example, these ones are about music, uh, food, as you can see. Then we've got some beauty products, tutorial YouTube thumbnails, uh, travel YouTube thumbnails, etc, etc. If you scroll down, you'll see more of the examples of thumbnails, so you can choose any thumbnail you like. And let's say I've got a travel channel, so let's say I'm going to choose this thumbnail over here. All I have to do is click on it. And after we click on it, as you can see over here, we've got some text and then we have some photo in the background. So what we can do is, first of all, we can replace the photograph in the background. Let's say I travel to the Philippines, so I want to add some photograph from the Philippines. Don't worry, you don't have to have your own photograph. Of course, if you have it, you can upload it and then use it over here, no problem. However, if you don't have any photograph, you can use some of the free photos available on Canva. In order to do that, we can go to photos, and then over here we can search for millions of photos and most of them are free. So let's say I'm going to write Philippines. I press enter. And as soon as I do that, as you can see, there are many photographs from the Philippines. And a very important thing, if in the right bottom corner we see free, that means this photograph is available for free. If we see a dollar sign, it means it's available to buy for one dollar or in some cases if we have Canva Pro, we can get this kind of images for free as well because we're already paying for our Canva. So all you have to do over here is find a photograph that you like the most and of course if you want to upload your own photo, you would go down here to uploads and then upload it over there. And I'm going to choose one of the free ones. Let's say I'm going to choose maybe this one over here. So I just click on it. And as you can see, it was already added over here. So now we can resize it so it fits our thumbnail template. And once it fits our thumbnail template perfectly, we can change the position to go to the back. So in order to change the position, we click over here position and then choose backward. We can also press control and square bracket. So once we click on it, it will be sent to the backward so we can see the text over here. And of course we can change the text to anything we want. So let's say I'm going to write here Philippines. And we can, of course, resize this text. We can change the size of the text. We can change the size of the box to be bigger or smaller, however we want. In order to change the size of the text, we select it. And then up here, we can change the size to be smaller or bigger or whatever other size we want. Just type in the number over here. So let's say I'm going to write 90. And as you can see, the size was changed. And right now this is all grouped. We can 
also click ungroup and then we can edit separate elements of this box so if we want to move this to some other place or we want to delete something we can do that as well so i'm gonna resize this box over here so it's bigger and it allows me to have a bigger font and i'm gonna change the size to be bigger maybe 104 and put it in the place where i want it to be we can of course change the text down here we can change the font so if we double click on it we have fonts over here we can choose any font we want for example this one all we have to do is click on it and as you can see the font is being changed so just find the font that you like the most click on it and it will be changed to whatever font you want let's say i like this one i'm going to change it to be smaller maybe 72 Philippines is there. I want to make this rectangle smaller as well. So now I can select everything I want. In order to select everything you want, more than one element, you just click on it, you hold shift and you click on other elements that you want to add. And I'm going to click group. So now I can move it all together to any place I find fit. So I want it to be here. And we can, of course, also change the colors. So right now, as you can see, the background color is brown. We can change it to any color we want. We can change it to blue, green, yellow, orange, whatever other color we want by clicking over here. So let's say I'm going to change the background to green. So all we have to do is click background and then choose the color that we want. So it can be dark green or light green, whichever you think looks better. I'm going to choose dark green. Uh, in order to change the text color, we click on the text. We click over here and we can change the color to anything we want. So I'm going to leave it as white. And we can do the same with other text over here. So let's say I want this text below to be in light green. So we click here and we choose light green from here or here. Or we can set a new color and change it to any color we want. And once we have our thumbnail ready, once we like it, uh, we can of course download it. In order to download our thumbnail, all we have to do is click over here on download button. And once it opens, we can choose if we want to download PNG, JPEG or any other format. I would suggest PNG and then we click download. As soon as we do this, our design is being prepared and exporting. And after it's ready, a window like this pops up and we can click save or point it to any place where we want to save it on our computer. Once it's saved, we can of course upload it as custom thumbnail of our video. So this is how this thumbnail will look like at the moment and it's very very useful for example when you want all thumbnails being the same style. So for example in this case uh, if you have a travel blog for example you would have this kind of uh, template you would just replace the text over here and replace the photo in the background and you can create your own custom thumbnails that look in the same way in the same template so there is some consistency on your channel and it will take you just a minute just upload the photo change the text done so that's it for today let me know what do you think about this way of doing custom thumbnails and remember to click thumbs up subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching